Why am I showing you guys this image? Well, I'll tell you why, because a lot of people are talking crazy about Deontay Johnson due to the fumble play, but this play was arguably more important in the game. It's third down and nine, 12 minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Kenny Pickett is going to throw this low to the ground with a whole lot of mustard on it. And mind you, the Steelers are only up by three points at this point in the game. So this is a very very important catch to make and he comes down with it makes a great adjustment and a good amount of wide receivers in the nfl we've seen a lot of drops in the past week they do not make that catch but deontay didn't really get any credit for the importance of that play because of what happened here but you got to realize and first and foremost not trying to make any excuses because it was a very low iq play but when deontay is looking at that ball Everybody else on the Steelers offense is thinking, oh, that's not a fumble. They're kind of slow to it too. They only start running when DJ Turner starts actually like picking it up and going with it. And by that time, Deontay's already turned around. Again, low IQ move, low effort move. I wouldn't say so because for it to be a low effort move, he would have had to think that that's a live ball. If he thought that that was a live ball and didn't go for it, that's another thing. But I've seen Deontay Johnson go out and make high effort plays. So the fact that people are calling him a low effort player just off of one brain fart, which is obviously something he's going to learn from, it's crazy to me. This was the only thing that you could point out of his game that he constantly does and say, all right, yeah, he really needs to fix that because he goes backwards way too much trying to do some street ball stuff. When in doubt, always fall forward. And I'm sure that the coaches will talk to him about it because he had a tendency to do that last year. Now onto the Deontay Johnson touchdown that wasn't ruled a touchdown. Couple things, the refs did miss this call, but Deontay still got to finish that catch. I feel like if he makes this catch, though, people aren't talking about Deontay the way they are right now in a negative tone because that would have been three massive plays he made this game. Also, Mike Tomlin got to get a specialist in the booth who specifically focuses on when to throw a challenge flag and when not to throw a challenge flag because Mike Tomlin does not have the greatest record when it comes to that type of thing but he's still a great coach nonetheless. Let me know how y'all feel about Deontay Johnson getting heavily scrutinized on the internet right now. I know that a lot of people get you know too overreactive about that type of thing, but if you look at the overall performance, it was actually pretty solid. And again, whenever the Steelers have something positive, this was a very positive performance. They tried to bring out the negative as much as possible. Again though, let me know what y'all think. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And that is it for me on this one. Peace.